Welcome back guys. We are finally going over the long-awaited lab results and weights of the last grow. The last grow being the Athena Pro line, which is our first time running it, or my first time running it, as well as running the Athena Pro line's new R&D product, Coin Fade Now, uh, testing data versus its, you know, against its standard run protocols, uh, you know, the normal standard Pro line as it exists today, against the R&D line, and we're using the pro line and seeing how that compared against the blended line we ran in the past. Uh, I would like to know, and please keep in mind, I did have a lot of issues with this run, so it's gonna skew some of the numbers, more specifically the weight, probably, uh, just because I did have a driver go out on one of the um, lights twice, as you guys know, for an extended period of time. So that whole bank got much less growth um, not so much as a big impact on the use of the THC and cannabinoid contents and the you know, terpenes, but definitely when it comes to like size, that mattered. We did have a root rot on one of the tested plants, uh, which we did bounce back from, but it stunted it, so the weight on that, uh, and as well as a little bit of overwatering. Just a lot of issues on my part getting used to the new irrigation system with automated feeding, so I'm used to hand watering, so just learning curve on my part, as well as the driver going out twice uh, due to the driver just being old and bad because they've been through a few runs now. So keep in mind those factors, I will point that out as I go through it. Uh, I have the lab results, the actual PDF copies of the lab results from the lab. Uh, I won't be showing now, but I will be uploading those to my Instagram. So you guys have that. Instagram name should be in the corner. Uh, go ahead and look there. It's not there yet. I want to release all the results here on YouTube first. What I did is I took all that information, put it down to a nice, easy to read table like I did last time. Uh, we'll go, I'll go ahead and go over that here in just a moment. And then uh, in a day or two, it should all be uploaded to the Instagram. And you guys can actually see all the lab results there individually as well. Just so you can see I'm not faking the funk and you have all that viable proof, you know, for yourselves to view if you're curious. So uh, let's just hop right on into it. And boom, there we are. Here's the long-awaited results, the totals, everything you've been wanting to know, all the you know, all of the data behind the most recent grow. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll get right on into it. Cover all these numbers real quickly with you guys. We uh, have a, you know, this is grow number three, so that's why it says grow three here. It's the third grow in this series in this new location. So because we're going to be covering other results as well, just so you guys can tell them apart, because this is with the Athena Pro line. Uh, it's the Athena Pro running their standard as well as running their R&D product, which is basically replacing their core because normally you run bloom and core uh, through your flower. With uh, the R&D, you're replacing the core in the last two weeks of flower and running the bloom and the R&D together. The big uh, reasoning behind this, uh, there's multiple, but the main one is to remove the nitrogen completely. The R&D does not have the nitrogen uh, as, you know, as well as some other things that aren't needed. Uh, basically kind of giving you that positive stress and forcing the plant into more flower focused development because it doesn't have the nitrogen to really, you know, focus on anything else, right? And it still is getting the other nutrients that it needs to, you know, keep itself healthy and strong so that way you avoid thing like, you know, mold, you know, primarily bud, bud rot at that late in. And uh, you can still kind of, you know, really push cannabinoid content as a whole, which basically is your THC is included in that or is the primary your terpene percentage all that good stuff right um, we're also going to be using this pro line uh, run to compare against the blended just to see if there was a difference uh, so we have the total cannabinoid percentage which is all cannabinoids including THC we have total THC percentage uh, which is different from just THC percentage because it takes into consideration the decarb process and the loss of THC when you go through that so if you guys look at those PDF versions you'll see THC using THCA that's going to be a higher number than total THC because it does take that into consideration there's a little math you can do to figure that out but I can't remember whatever what it is off the top of my head now this next column F right here this 11% relative it's supposed to say moisture THC. So it's 11% relative moisture, you know, THC percentage here. What I did is because of my percentage numbers being all over the place and definitely being on the high end, I should have dried these out more. And this is after dry and cure, about four weeks of dry and cure actually. Uh, so these are just a little too wet. I should have dried them a little bit more before submitting them. And, but because they're all over, it changes, you know, it doesn't make these very comparable because it's not one set moisture content and this affects this. So what I did 
in you know trying to make things as easily understandable as possible i try to use 11 percent as my baseline uh since i like to shoot around 10 or 11 anyhow and what the thc percentage would be if they all had been 11 percent to give you a little bit more comparable uh you know results here i don't know how to do this with the terpene percentage if you do let me know and i can make updates to this but the terpene percentage is much less so the uh, variability is going to be less so as well, right? So it's not gonna change as substantially as the larger numbers will. Uh, I won't go over all of these individually. You can look at this table to kind of see that. The bottoms is just gonna be the total averages of each, just so you can uh, kind of see what your average, we're averaging as a whole. Uh, I will go over the total weights a little bit. Total weight here being, this is in, these are all in grams. So this is 2,079.4 grams, which is uh, translates to about 4.58 pounds. Uh, so roughly 4.6 pounds. Some of these numbers aren't exactly accurate. Uh, up here, the GKC primarily being because uh, we smoked a lot. You know, we did a lot of uh, sampling research while trimming, and uh, primarily saw on the R&D because I like the way it smoked, and uh, I like the way uh, the, the smoke itself was. You know, the flavor, how smooth it hit, as well as just the high itself. The cannabinoid difference was very much notable. So we did sample this one, but this was the one we were heavily sampling for research purposes, right? Uh, so, I mean, I'm just guesstimating, let's just say maybe 20 grams I might have took off this, so add 20 to here. This was fluffed a little bit just because this whole side was getting crossover light from the other, from the other light hanging. So I believe that's going to influence the weight a little bit. Taking that into consideration and then also taking into consideration down here with the WB is much less on the R&D, and that's because this is the one that had the root rot. It suffered traumatically. The Gorilla Glue is a little wonky as well because we had the driver go out on one side and a lot of that was on the R&D side. So the R&D kind of got done dirty with me smoking and some of the other stuff. But that's primarily going to affect the weights, not so much on these, uh, usually because a lighting and things like that slow down growth. Uh, we had most of these issues fixed by week three of flower, which is obviously as it starts really kind of kicking off into flower. It's starting, you know, week three, week four, week five. It's really big week six and then, you know, finishing off seven, eight, nine. Uh, so luckily these numbers didn't get impacted as much. I'm sure they were impacted some, um, but not as greatly as weight's going to be. So that's the only reason why I'm pointing that out. And this is obviously 100% my fault. But you can tell despite the impact they've had, we still did really good numbers. And despite that, the R&D line still won out, whether you take the moisture into consideration or not. It still won. Total cannabinoids definitely get kicked butt. And this is as an average. Now, what I'd like to point out here is not only is it winning on all, all fronts, except for the terpenes, which is weird. I mean, it's only 0.16 difference, so it's pretty small. Uh, but, you know, so I wouldn't say notable, but it is a difference. I want to see if I can change this. I want Because I want to test this again. Because if I can repeat this and repeat a bigger difference, that you know, it's uh, it, it's going to be amazing. It's it's big things, especially with what this R&D product is trying to accomplish. So I'm loving that research gone, you know, done by Athena for this, allowing me and others. And others have also gotten similar results here. Now, one thing I will note, my best strain out of all of these is going to be my GKC, best genetics hands down. It's also the one that saw the biggest improvements across the board due to the R&D product. So that's telling me that the better the genetics you have, the more this is willing to push those genetics. It's going to bring out the potential of those genetics. If your genetics are limited, you can only kind of take them so far. And But if your genetics have a much higher ceiling of possibility, this allows you to push in there. So that means the better your genetics, the better, the more, you know, the the better this product works, the more it can bring out of those genetics, which is really, really big. I want to see if this is all repeatable because if it can be replicable and you know replicated over and over again, I mean, it has been with other growers, but I want to see it with my own eyes. This is huge. Everything that it's going to be doing, the way it kind of kicks off curing process even while you're growing, the way it pushes it into flower more, and you can get all of that. Like it's, it, Wow. It's going to be a game changer. I think other companies will start doing it. I really love that Athena's taking the time to do this research, and I hope I can't wait to see what they come out with next. So I'm definitely a fan of this. We'll be running it again. Uh, obviously, my next run, I'll be doing light testing is the goal. Uh, I would like to do another nutrient test against Athena, though, at some point, just to kind of see how others keep stacking up. Now, that said, one thing this resu these results are not going to show us and I notice this while trimming is when trimming, you all know that the upper buds are always better than your lower buds. Obviously, we do things like lollipopping, default, and training to eliminate larfy buds. But no matter what you do, your your the buds that are farther from the light are never quite as good as the ones upper, right? So they may be fire buds below, but they're even, you know, they're fire plus fire, right? You know, 
it's even better the higher you go, right? Just the way it is because it's getting more light. I notice, and then they also, they seem to finish, you know, not at the same time, right? Your lower ones don't get the same kind of fade. They won't purple as much as the ones above. The hairs may brown slower. They may not stack trichomes as densely. With, I've noticed with the R&D, and I didn't get this on camera, and I'm going to try to repeat this to see if I can get it on camera, as well as I want to uh, see if I can find maybe old footage where maybe I inadvertently got it on camera without realizing it, is those lower buds matured. It was like a more holistic maturing of the plant. And if that's also re repeatable, this is massive. I really think this, this can be a game changer. And I think other companies will start replicating this complete entire removal of nitrogen and some other things not needed to really drive you know, into a, you know, the vectors into flowering, right? So, and I want to see if I can do that because if, if they all kind of fade uniformly, you get better, you know, trichome development lower as well, as well as, you know, it just looks like the upper buds, right? It's getting that, their hairs are browning. It's getting a little bit better trichome development. It's getting better, you know, it's getting that actual fade instead of looking like that lighter green. So I really want to see if that's repeatable because that's a big thing that I did not expect, but it was notable. I noticed when trimming, I was just in trim gel and wasn't, you know, thinking to take photos of it for this video so that's on me but despite you know be that as it may boom did fantastic again the weights don't pay attention to it i want to test it again to see you know what it's going to be i don't see how this could impact the weight greatly it's the other factors that are impacting it i just want to have this here because i know you guys wanted to know the totals now comparing this versus our previous grows and i'll try to speed this up i know this video is going to be a little bit longer than normal so stick through and i'll have a surprise for some of you at the end uh, you know, if you're willing to stick to the end of the video, you'll see. So be that as it may, here's grow one, here's grow two. Grow one was with uh, a blended, grow two was the blended versus the mills. So I, this is only showing, so this was one light down here. This was the whole light. We only had one light at the time, one 800 watt light. We got 3.96 with one light. This right here, 2000 which is 4.6. So we got one, you know, 1700, almost 1800 grams versus 2000 grams. This is two lights it is double the light of this. So we smashed it the first run with weight. Obviously these issues greatly impacted our weight. Now this right here, this weight is only going to account for the Athena. I will show you the actual, this is what it actually was. So this is with two 800 watt lights. As you can tell, boom, 2700, almost 2800 in compared to 2000. It's 454 grams per pound. So we got close to two, almost two pounds more last time. So you can tell how much issues impacted the weight. But we expected this though. If you guys remember in videos, I knew it was gonna be impacted. I said I was looking at the upper end of five pounds on the lower end of four, we hit basically 4.6. So we did as expected, you know, luckily, on the higher end of as expected, but still as expected, unfortunately, we didn't expect much. But, you know, we know what the issues were. I know what the issues were. We'll see improvements next time around, and we'll blow these numbers out of the water. I'm really excited to see that how this improved even the better genetics more. This is going to be a staple in my line from now on. I will replace one or both of these eventually. I just need to find some really solid genetics to do so that's got to beat these, obviously, until I can get myself back into a line of staples with maybe one sample every now and then as for testing. But as you guys can see, we did fantastic. Here's comparing the uh, the percentages, apologies. So the, here's your THCs, right? Or if you want to use the, the 11%, we don't know what the percentage is on this because I didn't get moisture, but these I did submit way drier, especially the dryness on these were way more. So percentages continue to increase over time. We're getting better, we're pulling better results. I do think that this total cannabinoid would have been different and it would have smashed this if it wasn't for the water percentage being so high on these. But again, I don't know what that, I don't know how to calculate that for the cannabinoids. Uh, so take that in mind. Total THC though, still smashed. And if we even, if you just looked at the solid genetics, so this was one whole tray, it was a GKC, and this one didn't have a light go out. So if you wanted to compare this, I mean, look at, look at the difference to the ones that didn't have the light go out, that didn't have anything, the weights, the, all that was just improved, right? And this is smashing both of these. So we've steadily improved. Uh, and th this is just because we got better in the room, dialed in factors, and we knew the strains, obviously. The more you know your genetics, the better. These were new genetics. We still did really good with brand new genetics never grown before. Now we kind of know the nuances plus the issues from the irrigation. So things are only going to get better from here. I do think it's a win across the board. I will be running Athena Pro line again based on these numbers. I will be running the R&D product. I think I'm gonna throw in one plant. 
of uh, standard just to see if I can point out that, you know, that finishing difference with the lower buds and, uh, and I will want to test the difference just to see if we can repeat some of those, you know, some of these numbers here in these results, uh, you know, without having issues. But uh, that's it for the testing. I'll go ahead and uh, cut back to you guys here. All right, there you have it, guys. Those are the test results. That's the big conclusion everyone's been waiting for. We got the weights. Ah, they're kind of a little funky because of what happened, but that's what it is. Full transparency, full honest opinions. I gave honest opinions the entire time through the grow, as you guys know, and I just mentioned. It, it is what it is. I'm, you know, I'm giving you the numbers. I'm giving you the data. I'm giving you the updates throughout the grow. I'm give, keeping my honest opinion honest, and hopefully all of you all appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Hope you like this video. I know it was a little bit of a rant. went on a long ways. Hopefully, you guys stuck through. And if you did stick through, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know that I will be doing some giveaways because I got a lot of nutrient stuff that stacks up. And I'm like, instead of throwing these away, why not give them away? So stay tuned for that. Actually, if you watch this to the end, comment down below that you watched it to the end and that you want to enter into a raffle to win a nutrient and I will send out some nutrients for you guys. And I'll actually, I'll give you some options and you can pick a nutrient, maybe a tray, I'll put some stuff together. So comment down below that you watched to the end and you wanna be part of the raffle and tag your IG. So you wanna be in the raffle and put your at Instagram so I can contact you. Do that and I will let you pick what you want. I will pick a winner out of the group below. Until then, peace out YouTube and as always, happy growing guys. For the rest of my life, see I'm in love with Mary J.